always think that you know that you are big, bro. Like, you are big, bro. I, you, you know, I be doing, I do club appearances, everything. You know, like, I get paid for everything. I do club appearances, walkthroughs, parties, anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, they, and people was asking me in Alabama about you. I'm like, my man. Yeah, hey, cool, and I appreciate you giving me a chance to chop it up with you now. Hell yeah, man. I was waiting on you to hit me up, man. Most definitely. You know, I've been seeing you for a while, too. I've been hearing some of your music for a while. Uh, can you walk me through it exactly where you're from? I'm from Chicago, man. Inglewood, 563rd Marshfield. You know, that area you're naming kind of been trending lately. A lot of people be talking about Chicago, especially the South Side. I always ask artists from out there, and I want to ask you too, is it really like that, or is the media overhyping it? Because it kind of seemed like Iraq or something. Man, you already ain't gonna stop. It's like that. You gotta be in that shit. Like, you know, you gotta be in that shit to be, get caught in a line fight. Ain't no really no innocent motherfuckers getting whacked like that. Them three them three kids this week just is innocent, but man, it's really like that. If you with the shit, if you in that shit, your ass is gonna get dealt with point blank feet. Right, you know from a distance it kinda look like if you're just standing outside at any moment it can happen. Is it is it is it really, really like super, super dangerous or is it like you could live and it could just pop off and shit like that? Yeah, it all, it, all, it all depends on what block you on right. and what, what motherfuckers around and on that block what they on. If you ain't, if you ain't no, if you ain't with the shit, you ain't know. If you ain't gang banging, you ain't posting up on no block. You good on the hard block anyway? Cause I ain't gonna. I'm, I'm moving around how I wanna move around on any block, but you ain't finna catch me posted up out there. Cause right. all, ain't nobody enemies. Ain't no, ain't nobody enemies gonna hit me. You feel me? Right, and it seems like it's so gang influenced, you know, not to downplay or diss anyone. I want to know, do you have to be from the streets to be in this rap shit? You gotta, to me, to get your buzz and cloud up and all that shit, hell yeah, you gotta whack a motherfucker, you gotta be talking about, you gotta be talking about a motherfucker. You just can't, in Chicago, you just can't be just an average motherfucker rat, you, rapper. You gotta be talking about drilling some shit. Right. I shall be saying that. Is the issue with you and M.A. and Young M.A. still going on? Man, I really got that. I, I left it alone. I'm at my own motherfucker lane. I just wanted to get my shit out there. I just wanted to speak the truth, show motherfuckers, tell motherfuckers how it's real niggas out here. That shit just to show motherfuckers do anything for them cameras. That's all. Did you catch any backlash from that Zach TV interview you had? Yeah, yeah, no. Right, you know, but you got a lot of rap videos on YouTube. I know a lot of people know who your name is. They done seen you on TVs, the Zach TVs. Is it safe for you, like, when you're chilling outside on the corner and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm going to be cool, bro. Like, I ain't going to start, like, some 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 places, motherfuckers, be like, oh, you be fucked. I said, you uh, shoot a video with food, or I'll shoot a video with Lil' Mister. You just your first bit of that stuff. I'm just a billion. That's all. I ain't, I ain't with all that gang back and that shit, man. Don't get me wrong. Uh, deal with a nigga, but at the same time, if I ain't got to... I'm chilling. I'm cool and give me some money. Fuck some bitches. Point blank and <laughs> I know. There's a lot of artists out there. What, what you bring into this rap shit? Um, say that again, bro. What you bring into this rap shit? There's a lot of artists out there. What kind of flavor you bring into the game? What can we expect from you? Man, I'm number real shit. And what I really go through, like, motherfuckers really don't be out there drilling shit. You feel me? I, I talk about shit that I really go through that I really don't say. And I, I, I don't be sugarcoat none of that shit. Right, I be seeing you shooting a lot of videos too. I be seeing you on the YouTube. Is it important to get visuals? You said what about visuals? Is it important to have visuals? Because I see a lot of artists just put songs out with like a picture. Is it important to have a video? Yeah, for me it is because I, I be like to put well, come on, so what you call that artistic motherfuckers actually see what I'm doing. You feel me? Uh -huh. And I like. If I put the song out there, like I ain't really got my buzz up, you feel me? Right. I, I got it up, so I got it up somewhere, but just putting out that songs and pictures and all that, and all my motherfuckers that feel me, and I want to get, and all that, 
tell no, but as far as the motherfucker getting feedback and trying to build me as a brand and give me the, um, give me a way, hell yeah, I'll fuck with the lady. What if they offer you, what if they offer like a million dollars? <laughs> I remember Kanye recently was trending on the internet and he was talking about the uh, radio stations how it's pay for play they're not really playing the best records and shit like that is it like that in Chicago I know you guys got like WGCI and I think Power 92.2 right or 92.3 yeah, yeah like me personally it, it, it's pay to play but not necessarily if you got some hot ass shit they don't mind fucking with you if you got everything, if you got everything the right way, find everything edited the right way, and and put your focus into it, they ain't just gonna play that uh, rah 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 shit. <laughs> it, it got to sound, it got to sound, it got to have the clarity, the feedback, and all that. They they do have, they got some called home turf, so they do be fucking with you. Yeah. Okay. Give me some. Uh, give me some advice for upcoming artists in this shit, man. Man, just stay motherfucking dedicated, invest in yourself, or understand you know, what you can, can't do. Just, man, just remember, can't, can't, can't. Uh, can't, can't. Uh, and it, ain't nobody, ain't nobody stop you from doing what you want to do. Only thing you got to do is just network. Uh, one door closes, kick another one in. Uh, is it anything you ever did? Any video, any song, any post on social media? Is it anything you ever put out that you regret? Yeah, can we get that story? Uh, I had this like a motherfucker, maybe like a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, down there, on some extra shit, off the pills, off all the drugs. Thinking about this music, they said everything hit me at once, man, because I still got to live my regular life, buy a pan bill, take care of my family, everything hit me at once. I tried to try the motherfucker, tried to kill myself on live, man. Oh. Oh. Well, that was some extra shit. That was off them drugs, though. I was up all night, got booked. Bitch, I went to the phone. I don't like questions, man. All right. Everything okay, though? Yeah, I'm good. You know, I said, I wanted to come back for a major comeback. It's just show when he got to die, all that shit just happened. You feel me? You let that shit go. Fuck it. If you with me, you with me. If you ain't, you get rolled the fuck up. But I'm just trying to feel more. Uh. Well, I'm rooting for you, though. I don't know if you know, but it's a lot of people know who you is, and they rooting for you now. You got to stay with this music shit. Yeah, yeah, you already know. I'm going to keep up. I'm going to keep up with it. I got me some new shit. I'm dropping drop me a mixtape next to I'm still on uh, debate on the motherfucking name. The old fucking long live bill. Uh. Uh-huh. Exactly. Can, we, can, can you exactly tell me where the name came from, your name? Oh, yeah, Bill Gang, my motherfucking cousin, he got killed in the Chicago street maybe like three years ago, man. One thing he was about getting his money, staying out the way, suck ass niggas, whack them. Make a long story short, we gotta let his name live on. His name Billy the Kid, man. Right. It's Bill Gang, big B for Bill, bitches, bottles, and blunt, man. Right. And if people want to get up with you and sign you or something like that, give you a bag of money, what can they find you at? Man, follow me on IG at Bill Gang Jilla. Follow me on motherfucking Snapchat at Jilla 063. Follow me on Facebook at Bill Gang Jilla. My name is B I L L G I L L A, man. Just put in Bill Gang and I promise you, I'm going to pop right up on that motherfucker. Uh, I appreciate the love. You be safe out here now. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you my homie, though. Let me start GT. GTE, um, MO motherfucking B, Godly Gang, Fahim Gang, motherfucking, um, Why Not, DVLB, Drake Sharon, you already know how we come out, we rock it, man. Even we're finest, man. Uh, most definitely. Uh, I want to know, you uh, if you got any music. Hey, man, y'all fuck with my man. Hey, you from Chicago, right? Most definitely. Man, y'all fuck with my man. He's telling the real stories, man. And he's telling them to you. He, he's, he's the best thing on the net right now, man. I co-signed that. Me and my people, we fuck with him. He has exclusive stories, man.